everyone, it is great to see you here once again on These Delights. Today we are going to be making strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake. I'm just going to make a small one. We're going to use either an 8 inch or a 9 inch round cake pan. So this should be very simple to make. And you won't have a lot of leftovers that we end up throwing away anyway. So let's get started. What you're going to need for this is one and one quarter cup of cake flour spooned and leveled. I like to use Pillsbury soft as silk, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon salt, one quarter cup, which is four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We want that cubed and softened to room temperature. One teaspoon pure vanilla extract, one half cup of whole milk, we want that at room temperature. I've been letting mine sit in lukewarm water. One large egg at room temperature. I also had that in lukewarm water. Two tablespoons of either canola oil or vegetable oil. And that's all you're going to need for the cake portion of this. So what we're going to do is first, let's go ahead, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and grease an eight or nine inch cake pan. What they want you to do is line that with parchment paper. Well, I don't have any parchment paper around, so guess what we're going to do? I'm going to draw a little circle, the outline of my pan, and then I'll cut it. That'll give me a pretty good idea of how big it's going to need to be. Might shave just a little bit off of this, just because I did it on the outer side of the pan. I think I got all the pencil off. Yep, one circle. Perfect fit. Okay, once you put the parchment paper in there, what you're going to want to do is spray it with a little cooking spray. Now you can either use a stand mixer or just a regular handheld mixer. I'm going to use a handheld mixer today. Too lazy to get the stand mixer out. So first what we're going to do is sift the cake flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt in a bowl. Either in a bowl or the bowl of a stand mixer. So cake flour was one and one quarter cups. Sugar was two thirds cup. Baking powder was one teaspoon. Salt was one quarter teaspoon. Let's just go ahead and whisk that together. Now is where we're going to need the mixer. Let's add one quarter cup of milk, the butter, and the vanilla. Here's our four tablespoons of butter softened and cubed to room temp, and our one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So go ahead, we'll mix that together. And we'll mix it on medium speed for about a minute. That's coming together nicely. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to whisk the egg, the rest of the milk, which is one quarter cup, and two tablespoons of oil. Let's just whisk that together. And scrape down the bowl if there's anything along the side. Okay, we've mixed the egg, milk, and oil together, and we're going to pour half of that in. Mix it for about 15 seconds. Then we'll go ahead, mix the rest of it. We don't want to over mix it. Let's just do it for another 15 seconds. Scrape down the sides. And some small lumps are okay. You just don't want to over mix it. So we got it good here. See how easy this is? Next, we're going to pour it into our cake pan. And then we're going to bake it for about 20, 22 minutes. You can test it, make sure that it's done just like you would any other cake. Put a toothpick in. If you're using a nine inch pan, it might take a minute or two less. Okay, we're gonna let that totally cool in the pan. Then 
will make the whipped cream and also our sliced strawberries. So I'll see you shortly. Cake's getting cool. Still going to take a little bit, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and slice our strawberries up, put a little sugar on them. It also says here you can put a little jam mixed in. I don't have any strawberry jam. It says one and a half cups of sliced strawberries, one tablespoon of strawberry jam, and one teaspoon of granulated sugar. I don't have the strawberry jam, so I'll just put about one to two teaspoons of sugar in. Okay, so I'm going to slice these into about quarters, depending on how big the strawberry is. I doubt you want to have a huge bite of strawberry, but who knows? This one might get into more like six slices. I'm going to pour these into a little bowl and about half a tablespoon of sugar, since I don't have the jam. Sprinkle that around and just stir that up a little bit and let them set. let this totally cool before we make the topping. You want to know what the earliest you can come this evening is? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what I get done here. Tonight the kids are coming over for Bible stories, right? You guys, we get together once a week, me and the grandkids. We have a Bible story. We play games. I used to have a second movie night tonight. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. How did you get that? Right. I'm not going to Bugs. Oh, okay. What was the uh, movie that you did last night? How to Train Your Dragon 3. How to Train Your Dragon 3. What's the movie that you think you're going to watch tonight? I okay. don't know. Bye. All right, I'll see you a little bit later. Bye, guys. <laughs> I went to the store and I'm back. I'm going to get this out of the pan. Just... There it is. Parchment paper stayed in the pan. Perfect. Now it says, I'm going to let it sit here for a few more minutes. It says to put it on a serving tray, whatever you want to do. I'm going to put mine in a little plastic container so I can put it in, put the toppings on, cover it up, and store it in the fridge. See how my strawberries are coming along. Whoops. <laughs> I might have to eat that one off the floor, folks. Getting a nice little glaze on top. Oh, good. <laughs> Landed on the chair. I can eat it. Mm. Strawberries with a hint of sugar. Delish. Delish, I tell ya. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to make our whipped cream. I'm going to go ahead, put this in the container I'm going to use me in my fancy container. Put this right in there, but look how perfect it's going to be. I can just cover it up then. It'll stay in an airtight container, no worries. Now, if I was going to take it somewhere, I would get a little bit fancier serving tray. All right, next, let's go ahead. We're going to make the whipped cream. We're going to have one cup of heavy cream or heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of confectioner sugar or granulated sugar, and one half teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And we're going to whip that up probably about three to four minutes on high uh, to get stiff. It says medium stiff peaks, so we'll see. Okay. Probably would be easier for me to use granulated sugar instead of opening this whole bag. I'm thinking powdered sugar is going to be a little sweeter. No, I'm going to use it. I'm going to open the big bag just for two tablespoons. Teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Put that in there. And let's whip it up. It says to do it on medium high speed. Three to four minutes. We'll see what we got. You want it to kind of like a, a little bit thicker maybe than a Cool Whip consistency. I guess you could use Cool Whip, but what fun would that be, right? Scoop some out. See where it stays on the spoon? Put it all in the center. So now we'll spread it out to the sides. This is going to be a lot on here, folks. But you know what? So what, right? It's only calories. 
Let me just taste. Let me just test taste this. Good. Slightly sweet, not overbearing. It'll be good with our sweetened strawberries. It won't be too sweet. You know, if you were going to serve this, you might want to touch up the ends, make it look a little nicer. And there again, folks, I have no artistic ability. So you wouldn't want me to make your decorative cakes or cupcakes or anything. Let's put the strawberries on top now. Just sprinkle those around. Now, if you want to put two cups of strawberries on top, go for it. You can serve it right away or pop it in the fridge for a few hours before serving, and then just store it in the fridge for about three days, up to three days. You want some? Right, let's okay. just uh, let's We're going to try it. We'll cut into it. What you're going to rate is, of course, not the strawberries. Okay. But you're going to rate the whipped topping to see if you think it needs to be sweeter. Okay. And the cake to see what you think well, looks of good. the cake. Looks so far, like presentation it. is good. I'll give yes. it to Jackie. Mm. Do you like it? Everything's good. Ooh, oh, that's my favorite part. That, what is the cake? Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite part usually too. I like very good. Oops, and beautiful. Try right, not to drop. Cake is ten out of ten. Hmm. The middle part and the. Okay. Jack likes the cake. Oh, Doug's gonna eat more. Me too. Oh yeah. We'll eat that up first. Okay, it's not bad. Just a little dry. Mm -hmm. We can remedy that. So that other than that, it has a good flavor. Jack apparently liked it. Doug's yep. eating nine out of, I give it a nine. The only thing about it is just the like taste is a little dry. Yeah. That's it. So yeah. And um, it still tastes good though. It does taste good no, though. Nothing. Yes. So thanks for joining us here once again on Dee's Delights. We hope you join us again real soon. Have a great day, everyone.